Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at uh, obviously what's coming towards you in love, who you might be dealing with. That's my dog in the background, please ignore him. Worst timing ever. Um, and um, if we have time, we'll look at the first couple cards for what's coming your way next. So let's jump right in for Aries. Aries, keep in mind these are general love readings, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aries watching. Take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance for you uh, for additional messages. Sometimes those can resonate, okay, hold on. Can resonate more. I'm gonna put that back, I haven't even, that's my question. Um, <laughs> all the playlists for each sign are linked in the description box. So um, feel free to, visit the playlist for each of your placements okay for aries spirits angels guides messages guidance please for aries regarding love what does aries need to know regarding love okay interesting some of you um you might be dealing with a capricorn because i'm getting very similar energies here with restoring balance and second chances There could be a connection that it, the balance is restored or there's a second chance at that connection. And I feel like this is divine timing. So some of you, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, check out the Capricorn reading. It would have been um, the series of videos before this one. I feel like with Bountiful Harvest, there's like an opportunity here for something really special, for something to grow. Um, or someone feels like it has the potential to grow to be bountiful, abundant. What else do we need to know for Aries? Aries, you've been having similar themes in your readings regarding a past person. It could be a past life connection as well. Attraction and give your relationship a chance. So yeah, it's almost like some of you could be manifesting this or attracting this into your life or it's just, it's just meant to happen. And it's like a second a second try or a do-over, whether you know this is someone that you already had a connection with in the past or someone in your past life that you know maybe it didn't work out in another life, but you're getting a second chance. What else for Aries? What's coming their way regarding love and relationships for Aries? Goddess of the moon. What's coming their way in love? Attachment interesting bottom of the deck rest and rejuvenation i think that this is something that already existed before and intuitively it's like you know what's happening again or your intuition or their intuition is guiding them to you without realizing it perhaps but the balance is meant to be restored here let's see what we get with the tarot some of you, this could be happening because of what's happening like astrologically with all the different eclipses and things like that. Um, things are shifting for a lot of signs. So it would not surprise me if that's what happened here. But this is, this is for a lot of you, this is a second chance with the same person, you know, or with a past person. For Aries, what do we need to know regarding love? What's coming their way in love for Aries? What's coming their way in love for Aries? What is coming their way for Aries? For some of you, um, it just wasn't the right time the first the first time, the first go around. It just wasn't the right time, the right circumstances. It just wasn't gonna work. Um, let's see what we get for you. Four of Wands, Nine of Swords, Reverse, Seven of Cups.
Wow, the lovers. Gemini energy, two of pentacles, reverse. This is a choice here with the two of pentacles, reverse, and the seven of cups. Someone has made a choice. Three of wands. And um, they're waiting for the right time or waiting for something to return to them. Bottom of the deck, the world. Nice. So this is, I feel, a new beginning. A, 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 a go, a, um, what's the term? <laughs> Where you kind of like go, it's like going back around. Coming back around, that's the term. It's coming back around. Nine of Swords is reversed, so someone's no longer stressed or worried. And this could have been due to a decision they had to make. I'm getting a lot of messages, but I don't, I can't make sense of them right now. So let's see if I get some clarity when I clarify here. Tell me about the Seven of Cups and this Two of Pentacles reverse, because I feel like they're related. Tell me about the Seven of Cups and the Two of Pentacles reverse. Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Cups and the Two of Pentacles reverse. Six of Swords. Page of Swords. Can I get one more? Why is the Seven of Cups here? With the Two of Pentacles reversed. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The World and Six of Wands. The Hangman. Okay, so I feel like this is somebody that possibly was holding back on making this decision for some time. The decision is to go somewhere new. Six of Swords. The World. Somewhere where things are more successful, perhaps. Six of Wands. And this person has been doing research or is observing what they want. Um, you know, they're tapping into... Um, with the Page of Swords, I'm getting like, a, like someone that can see what they want, if that makes sense. Um, they see what they want and now it's just how to get there. Um, or they're visualizing what they want with the page of swords and it's almost like this page of swords is looking at the six of swords is kind of what i'm seeing here so they're seeing something that they want and they want it enough to leave some situation or some place where they're currently at and then they're going to have a new beginning here with the world however it took them some time yeah hangman and death after that scorpio energy with death possibly because they had to end something before they could really come towards you, Aries. If this isn't them, this is you. Flip the energy if it resonates more. But I feel like this is someone that was waiting for some time to make this decision. This could be a soulmate. I have the Four of Wands, the Lovers here. Tell me about the Four of Wands and the Lovers. And we have the King of Wands. Tell me about the Four of Wands and the Lovers. That's that attraction card. Tell me about the Four of Wands and the Lovers. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, um, I feel like the King of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles is someone that's like, I have to have that. What do I have to do? Let me put in some time, some effort. Let me work on something here. Let me work on this, on that. How do I get that? I'm getting some of you might be attracting someone at work or meeting someone at work and you like lock eyes and it's over. <laughs> um, I feel like there's, there's, it's almost like there's a connection here. I'm speaking to an Aries where there's a strong chemistry or, or a very strong bond that someone has with another person. Um, it's electric. And someone's working because the moon is here at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy. It's like um, they don't really know how this is going to go. So they're maybe working extra hard. Tell me more about the Four of Wands and the Lovers. What do we need to know about the Four of Wands and the Lovers? Strength, Leo energy. Yeah, how do I make this happen? Um, I feel like this is someone like trying to take... This is their way of taking control over their fear or taking control over. It's almost like this is a person who it makes no sense to them to worry about something that they it's almost like instead of worrying about it, which is a waste of time 
or letting fear hold me back. I'm just going to focus on something. I'm going to work on something. I'm going to actively like put my hands or, you know, work with my hands or, you know, um, be involved in a, in a, almost like in a physical sense, because at least I can distract myself, <laughs> you know, towards a goal and not sit around and wait. Five of uh, pentacles at the bottom of the deck and then the knight of wands. Exactly. Look at this. Three of swords, ace of wands, knight of wands, five of pentacles. So, you know, I'm getting the sense of someone who they really are motivated. Knight of wands, ace of wands. But in the middle of that is like pain and heartache and disappointment, feelings of abandonment, perhaps. So maybe this person's leaving a situation that really took a toll on them emotionally. Maybe they've been having difficulties in their life. And instead of focusing on that, they're thinking, well, let me go after this Ace of Wands. It's better than sitting around here feeling what I'm feeling. Tell me about this Three of Wands. I don't see anything here about communication. I don't see anything here about like specific action that someone's taking. And I think it's because of this Three of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Wands, Spirit. Why is the three of wands here? Eight of wands. Yeah, it's like someone's waiting. Waiting to take action or waiting to communicate. Tell me about the three of wands. Maybe they're waiting for a letter to come in the mail or some sort of um, official notice, a job offer that's signed. Ten of wands. Okay. Can I get one more for this three of wands? A lot of wands here. A lot of fire energy. Tell me about the three of wands and interestingly yeah i don't the, i only have one card that's cups and the cups are about choices the cups are not about love three of swords i mean ten of swords ten of wands tells me again someone is whoever is coming towards you had some sort of ending in their life if they're not the ones with this ending you're the one with this ending but i feel like this is happening after this ending that's why there's a waiting period here that's why the world is here. A cycle has closed and this person is starting a new one. Anyway, back to the cups. So there's only the seven of cups, which to me is not a cup about, it's not a card about love. The lovers is a card about love. Um, but the seven of cups, no. I don't have any cups on the board, which tells me this is not an emotional uh, situation. This is someone that's thinking outside of their emotions and even outside of their thoughts. Because the nine of swords is reversed. Six of swords is here. Page of swords is here. These are like, um, this is like someone that's, they're, they're, they're not really focusing on their anxieties or fears, overcoming that. Six of Swords is all about movement, leaving something behind. And Page of Swords is like the investigator. So I'm not getting someone like really focused on thoughts or feelings here. It's more about action. It's about ending. It's about communicating here. But I think this is more about like movement. Tell me about the, um, the Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Knight of Cups. Oh, wow, we get the Knight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting here, yeah, this is someone with a goal. Ace of Wands. This person, they know exactly, I, I have a feeling, it's like they have a plan, a master plan here. Well, it's almost like, you know, I'm picturing someone that's like, okay, after this happens, I'm going to do this. And then after that happens, I'm going to do this. That's why they're so focused. That's why they're so focused. Because they know exactly what they want at the end of this. Knight of Cups, I'm going to go approach this Queen of Pentacles and we're going to have a happy house, a happy home, a stable home. This could also be 1111 with the Four of Wands, like a soulmate energy. Okay, so what do we need to know about this person? Spirit, what do we need to know about this uh, person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? Could be dealing with a fire sign, someone with fire in their chart. Um, oh, I don't really see a lot of major arcanas here either, which again tells me that this is more about the details of something. Um, the only major arcanas that I see are the world and the lovers that's in the strength card these are the only major arcanas and these are the major shifts in energy the major arcanas aka the trump cards so it's, it's almost like um the goal is probably this up here but 
everything what really matters is the day to day the 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 little details the the steps the small steps that get you to the big goal tell me about this person that aries is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this other person what do we need to know spirit about this other person knight of cups what do we need to know about this other person this person could be coming to you with an offer of love an emotional offer an apology um this is a very sincere offer yeah page of swords yeah this person um communication is important what they say is important here before i clarify let me get some more oracles tell me more about this other person spirit tell me more about this other person this person could literally be coming over to or or addressing you communicating with you to apologize or heal this connection what do we need to know about this person what do we need to know about this person the otter and the panther the panther is kind of like the tower card of this deck and the otter is a card about innocence, youth, joy, um, someone that likes to have a good time, a young spirit. I have a feeling that this is a tower that that is probably, okay, so the, the two messages that I'm getting is, the first message is that the tower came to take care of an issue from someone's youth or when they were younger. Maybe they were young and experienced. Maybe they were hopeful, naive, and they got into something. And now the, the panther is here. Let me look at the panther real quick. Um, the panther almost like brings destruction, but it's in a necessary way. You know, it's, 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 it's like a tower. Exactly like a tower. Annihilation of the unnecessary and purging. It pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us toward more fulfilling lives. Unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. So I really do feel like this is probably a situation like a tower. Um, the second message that I got when I saw this otter, it's almost like this otter has brought this person back to the core of them, who they are. Um, maybe this tower has allowed this person to be themselves again or to have hope again for the future, to be more happy, more lively. I'm picturing someone with a weight off their shoulders. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? Main female toil and labor. Yeah, it's almost like they're they're working hard. There's thoughts at the bottom of the deck. This person has a goal in mind. They're not just working and 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 trying to make an effort. You know, this is the eight of pentacles. They're not just doing this for no reason. They have someone in mind. It could be a feminine energy here that they're thinking about. Yeah, there's courthouse. Courthouse is kind of like justice. Um, and every time I see courthouse, I think of like negotiations, contracts, decisions, official decisions. So I feel like this person, they're, they're, they're having possibly a tower moment in their life and then they come into your life. Um, let me get some um, clarifiers here for the Knight of Cups and the Page of Swords. Can I get some more insight into, there's the death card again. What's this, just curious. The Hangman, Queen of Wands, and Ace of Wands, okay? Tell me more about the Knight of Cups and the Page of Swords. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups and the Page of Swords. Someone could be wanting to talk about an ending that already took place with death or about the ending that they've just experienced, the change, the transformation that they've been through in their life. Knight of Pentacles is here. Again, I'm, I'm picturing someone that's not, they're not just, when they talk to you, it's with a purpose. This isn't someone that texts you, hey, <laughs> no, that's not that's not what this person is going to do. This is not someone that's like, hey, how you doing? Um, just wanted to check up on you. And then like nothing after that. No, that's not this person. 
I'm also getting that if you meet this person and someone new, um, they're gonna they're gonna want to lock it down basically. So when you when they meet you, they're like, wow. Aries is this, 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 and that. Aries is exactly what I'm looking for. Let me wrap up something in my life so that I can come forward because when I come forward to Aries, I want to lock that down. Can I get one more for the Knight of Cups and the Page of Swords? Why is the Knight of Cups and the Page of Swords here? Yeah, the Knight of Swords. This person, I'm telling you, they're, they're, there's the Fool at the bottom of the deck. They're coming forward with a purpose. They are talking to you with an end goal in mind. This is someone that is wanting to, you know, just cut to the chase, basically. Can I get one more, please? I just want to get one from my Stellar Rainbow deck here. Can I get some more insight, please? Can I get some more insight, please? Some more insight, please, for Aries. What do I need to know for Aries? Yeah, <laughs> open, inviting, and expressive. Exactly. So this person, they're going to come to talk. Conversation is very important. They're going to tell you something. It's it's again. It's it's almost like they're expressing something important, or they are being very open with you about something. Um, this is somebody with a goal in mind. This is somebody that has, I'm feeling like I'm sounding like a broken record, but that's the message, okay? I'm gonna just see if I can get some, um, I, I actually, I'm not. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to pick up cards for the near future because I feel this is the near future right here. This person's gonna talk to you. Um, so thank you so much for watching Aries. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you wanna see more readings from me, um, let me know down in the comments if this resonated for you, if you claim this reading, or if you just want to say hello. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.